Howdy y'all. Just coming in to do a quick one. Uh, I had a couple requests to show uh, some close-ups of these uh, my off-the-rack daredevils. Uh, and I pulled a couple of other things out uh, from the uh, early 80s to show also just gonna show a couple of my favorite favorites of the daredevils here again I bought all of these uh, off the rack there's the the pink uh, you got the kind of the more blue uh, on the right and the pink one over here on the left But again, uh, these uh, I bought all of these off the rack. They went straight into Mylar, and I uh, replaced the Mylar here about a year or so ago. My dog's walking around under my feet. Beautiful stuff. Never been opened. What do you want, dog? I know what you want. Not really too much else to say about them. Uh, they're just absolutely superb in every way. Yeah, great stuff. Another one. Razor sharp stuff all the way around. Yeah. Yeah, these are these are beauties, all right. Dog, I'll be with you in just a moment. Absolute perfection. Yes. One ninety-one. More of the same. Just stunning in every way. A couple more from the period or the Rocket Raccoon miniseries. Again, these are my off the rack books. This was a fun series. I never knew about Rocket Raccoon until these books actually appeared on the stands. Uh, I thought they were beautifully illustrated uh, by Mike Mignola. Beautiful stuff. And I never heard anything about Rocket Raccoon after. Oh, we're out of order here, but there's number four. Again, just beautiful stuff. And uh, number three. Beautiful. Here's a series that uh, I'm going to be showcasing in, a, in an upcoming video. Saga of the Swamp Thing. Which was... Uh, along with Frank Miller's Daredevil, Alan Moore's Swamp Thing, was uh, the, the major ongoing series for me of the 1980s. Just an incredible thing. Again, these are all my off-the-rack books. Stunning, beautiful, razor-sharp, Here's one of my favorites, number 34. Beautiful book. Terrible glare on the thing, but it is what it is. And I see a lot of these are still in the original Mylar that I, that I put them in all those years ago. 
they they are due to uh, have some replacement mylar homes one of these days. Stunning, beautiful material. Yes, indeedy. These books have never been opened. They went straight into mylar. I do have reading copies of all of them. But these are these are the killers. And again, I just kind of pulled out some of my favorites. Beautiful books. Is this thing going to focus today, or we go, finally? Yes, beautiful, eh? Again, I'm uh, going to uh, do a dedicated video on Alan Moore's Swamp Thing one of these days. And I'll talk about these books in a little more detail. Beautiful book. Love it. Arkham Asylum. Well, here's here's here is a uh, a post Alan Moore book, but just another one I bought uh, from the uh, comic shop. At this point, uh, Swamp Thing was a direct only book, and became so with number sixty, so I couldn't buy them off the newsstands anymore. But here's one of the last ones I I picked up from the time. Anyway. That was just a quick one. Uh, we'll get back to you folks again real soon and talk some more about uh, the 1980s. So, we'll see y'all again very soon. Bye-bye.